Today I'm going to show you how to take content from one spreadsheet and have it imported into a different spreadsheet. Quite often I hear people asking, I've got a sheet with a number of different tabs on it. I only want my grade seven teachers to see just the grade seven information. Now they've got a separated number of tabs in that sheet, grade seven, grade eight, grade nine list. But the problem is when you share a spreadsheet, you have to share the whole document for viewing. What we want to do is ensure that only the grade seven teachers see the grade seven information. To do that, we need to first of all, is get all our grade seven information into one spreadsheet. Now I've created a sheet here there's a number of ways of doing it. You can use different add-ons to do this. You can use a function like the filter function, or in my case, I use a query function. I find a lot of strength in that. And if you haven't played around with the query function, I really recommend that you do. Also check out the easy query add-on that will help you move, uh, move your data like that. So now I've got this grade seven sheet. I don't want to share all the data with the teachers. So I'm going to create a brand new spreadsheet. So here I've created this new spreadsheet. It's not tied into the other thing. And what I'm going to do now is use the import range function. So here's the breakdown. We start off with a spreadsheet key. This is the ID of the master sheet that we're going to be making use of. And then we also need to put in the sheet name itself. Now, here's my master sheet. We can see the actual ID number right there. So that's the first part that we're going to copy in. I usually rename my spreadsheets without spaces in it. I like to keep them nice and short and simple because when I'm using these different functions, it's a lot easier to remember. So basically it would look something like this. So the first time it tries to load up, you're going to get an error message. When you put your cursor over there, it says you need to connect these sheets and allow access. Now, basically I'm saying this sheet has permission to connect to the other sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and say allow access. And what it does is it pulls all that data from that, that sheet there. Now keep in mind what's happening is it's pulling the data from the first sheet into the containers or the cells of this sheet. So these cells here have their own formatting. So notice what happens when I go back to here, grade seven, the top here, I could go and I could take this first item here and I can italicize it. This is just the, the cell itself that's doing italics, it's not the text. And so when I come over here, that formatting doesn't happen. So if you have to do any kind of formatting, of special formatting, like here, you might want to have this on a left alignment or whatever, you do it in the reports page, not in the master sheet, because it's the cells itself that looks after all that formatting. Now, one of the nice things about the way that I've got this set up, because I'm using easy query, is it's automatically going to update itself. So I'm going to add my own information here. And when I go to the tab here, you'll notice it's popped up. Take a look here what's happened. Remember I italicized this, these uh, cells here? Because now Trevor Beck, it goes to the top of the list, it takes over that space, it becomes italics because the cells themselves are italic. But as soon as I added anything to the master sheet, it automatically updated here. That's great when you're using a tool or a function like query or a function like filter. Either one of those will grab whatever is in the master sheet, update this automatically, which then is imported into our new sheet here. So this sheet only has the one grade and I could just rename as grade seven. And I would share this only with those grade seven teachers that need to have access with that. And that's how you use the import range function.